On the active screen board, we can see all the tasks that plan to be done during this sprint. So we can see that there are already tasks in progress, there is some task in release, there is task in collapse. So columns help us to understand how far this task has gone for now. If we click on the task which is in progress, for example, we can see that this task relates to some other task, for example, stop dev environment. So this was the blocker for this task. We can see there is some kind of a description and also we can see there is just some comments and we can inform which person should receive this comment via email. So if you have a chance you can reply directly in the email without going to Jira. Let's close this for now. Also when task is uh, moving from left to right so it's easy with drag and drop for example it has some meaning. So here in code review we understand that people have done their tasks and they need someone to check their code. What does it mean? Let's take for example this task which is already in QA. You can see that there is a comment uh, from me for example please add how to test scenario and then developer actually added the scenario how to test and we can see there is some other comments like code review is done and so on. So what does it all mean? Here at the bottom, we scroll here, we can see there is a development section which says branches and commits. If we click on commits, we can see that there are two related comments to this task and there are separate files. If we click on this commit links, we will actually go to Bitbucket, which is a version control uh, repository. Here we can see the changes made in this commit and on the top we can see that there is a reviewer who approved that this code changes are actually good. All the persons who do the code review are actually from the one team and it is essential to follow up on the code quality and make sure people don't make mistakes and they keep to one uh, approach how they write the code. So even people who have uh, experience uh, in development, they also need to put their task on code review so their teammates check their code. When the task goes from quiet go to release and afterwards from release it goes to user acceptance tensions and when acceptance testing is done, we move the task to the done. Uh, you can see that we have how I tested scenarios and here is a link to the website and we can see the developer left some comments what he did in order to test the task. So for the testers it's easy to test and understand what should be done in order to put this file from release to OAT and also the client can check what should be done and what have been done on this task. Also we can open the task in full view if you click on this link and here you can see all the information. So this is a backend component, there is epic link based template, this is sprint browser and buy, there is a description and so on and so on. So that's all about the scrum board except the quick filters. Similar to backlog we can have quick filters that help us to focus on the task we want to work. For example, here are components only front-end task. Also, I can see the developer filter, so I can see who is working on what now. Also, I may know that there are testers, for example, Rollins, who does the test and he has no task assigned. And also, there is a server administrator and he has also no task. So, the only board that is left to our view is big picture. So let's see it in the next video.